tip me over and pour me out. I'm a little bit tired because yesterday I made not one, but two cakes. But it was worth it because they were both to celebrate the premiere of Disney's Alice Through the Looking Glass. I made a teapot, which I just acted out for you. And of course, the Mad Hatter hat. Thank you to Disney Canada for supporting and working with us on this video. Let us begin. Please be seated, ladies and gentlemen. The movie is about to start. To make my teapot cake, I baked eight pounds of my ultimate chocolate cake recipe into two eight inch round bowls. When baking cakes in a bowl or a sphere pan, it's really important to line them and grease them well. This will make the cake easier to get out, which is essential for cake decorating. You, I mean, you could just shove a spoon in it and eat it out of the bowl. I'll put all the details on how I do this at howtokickit.com. When my cakes are baked and cooled, I level them while they're still in the bowl. I remove both bowl cakes from their pans. I syrup the inside, which is the flat top, which we cut. And then I turn the halves over and I syrup the outside. When this sphere is put together, I need it to sit up straight. So what I'm gonna do is attach a little round board. I'm, I am so helpful. Do you see that? because they don't know what round is, Jocelyn. And when I do this, they're like, round. Let's just show them again to be sure what round is. Round. Okay. I attach a little round board to the bottom of one of the spheres on the domed side, and I just use a little melted dark chocolate to do this. I let the chocolate set so the board is stuck, and then I flip that half sphere over, and now I'm gonna fill this cake with Italian meringue buttercream. Before putting the sphere together, I have to cut the top off the other half of my sphere because that will be the lid. I have to cut the top off the top half of my sphere. <laughs> <laughs> I stick the other half of my sphere on top so I have a complete, beautiful bowl. What time is it, yo? It's crumb coat and chill! Are we gonna do the thing? Yeah. Just... I'm gonna do the teapot. <laughs> I wanna go to a club and do the teapot. I dare you. I was recently at the YouTube Creator Summit in New York City, and some of my fellow Canadian YouTubers and I, shout out to Lily Singh and Matt Santoro and Greg from ASAP Science, we came up with our own Canadian dance move. It's the B formation. What, explain to people what that is. Gila. Because the Canada geese fly in a V formation. So that's the move, just the? Yeah, it's like, it's su we're subtle, we're Canadian. We don't like bust in. We're just like, we're here. We're gonna just like flap over there. Once the crumb coat is set, I take my cakes out, ice them again, and because it's a sphere, and I have a sphere of fear, I actually iced it two more times, because I need it to be nice and smooth. This teapot needs fondant. I'm gonna cover it in white fondant, like a nice china teapot. I cover my teapot, I trim away some of the excess fondant, and then I quickly the cake over and push the rest of the fondant up and then trim it nice and even. I'm not even gonna say the word anymore. I rolled out a thin piece of fondant just to cover the top of my teapot, even though the lid is gonna sit on top. I don't want that cake to dry out. Now I can put this teapot in the fridge and move on to covering my lid. I roll out some more of my white fondant and I have to say, covering this teapot lid was the easiest cake I have ever covered in fondant. I almost felt like I was cheating somehow. I wanted this teapot to look like the one that would be on a table at a Mad Hatter tea party. I'm tired just thinking about this. I have to decorate this teapot with a whole lot of luster dust and edible paints. And I am not at all anxious about doing this, especially at midnight. That was perfect timing. Almost every night at midnight, I wake from my sleep and I think I wish I was painting a teapot cake. And last night, my dreams came true. You can go to howtokakeit.com and I'll provide a full list of everything I used. I used every single paintbrush in my kitchen. Whoa, how many is that? A lot. 
I, I can't count now, I'm too tired. I was really nervous to begin, but the more I did it, um, it kind of became fun, even at midnight. I will be bringing the Mad Hatter Tea Party Table to life in downtown Toronto with the help of my friend Casper Hadar from Casper Hadar Design. I'll be there in person on May 21st and the first hundred people to show up get to eat cake. All the details for this event are in the description below. I'm so excited. It's my first live event in Toronto. Guys, I'll get more excited. I'm talking to you two, Jocelyn and Sasha. <laughs> I see you all the time. Okay, you're right. <laughs> I wanted the lid of this teapot cake to be colorful, so I painted it a nice lovely blue, the same color that I painted the butterfly. Then I pushed some white fondant through my clay extruder to add just a little band around the lid and make it nice and neat. I made my handle and my spout out of gum paste in advance so that they could dry completely. The handle is great because it has, well, it's a handle. So it has two parts that go into the cake. I had the wire sticking out to insert into the cake. I pushed the handle, you know, a good way into the cake and then I secured it with a bit of royal icing around the seams and you really do, we didn't keep all this footage, but you need to like hold it there for a while. Uh, the spout on the other hand, only has sort of one entry into the cake and it's heavy. I mean, it's spouting. It's, it's trying to pour. I secured it with royal icing and then what I had to do is basically stuff a big ball of fondant under the spout and put it in the fridge overnight just to give it, you know, the fondant was acting like a hand holding the spout in place. As much as I wanted to stay all night long and hold the spout in place. I thought maybe I should sleep for like three hours so I wouldn't, you know, I could be here with you today. Next day! Next day! I wanted to add some three-dimensional little flowers to the sort of cherry blossoms on the side of my teapot. So I used a set of plunger cutters and cut out little pink flowers and painted them the same way the ones on my teapot were and then just added them here and there just for some texture. So to make my sugar flowers, I wanted them to be on the whimsical side, much like I am. I'm like a whimsical flower. <laughs> so what I did is I used some simple, like five petal daisy cutters and just made different sizes and dried them in cups and just sort of formed them and made them look soft and delicate, but not like any real flower because Alice Through the Looking Glass is whimsical with a capital W. I almost said H. <laughs> the H is capital too. Capital WH, that's how whimsical it is. I made two larger sugar flowers to add to the lid of my teapot. I did paint them with luster once they were fully dry. And then I added a few yellow ones on the side of the teapot near the spout. She's ready for her reveal. Orhan, cut to the footage. What's that other cake behind the teapot? Is that what you're wondering? Head over to my How to Cake It Facebook page. I'll put up the link below and you can watch the video of me making this whimsical Mad Hatter hat cake. Unfortunately, I couldn't cut the Mad Hatter hat cake for you because it's coming with me to the live event on May 21st in Toronto. And don't forget, the first 100 people will get to try some of my cake. All the details are in the description below. However, I am going to cut the teapot cake. Breakfast! Thank you again to Disney Canada for supporting and working with us on this video. Make sure to check out Alice Through the Looking Glass. It comes out May 27th. The movie has ended. Orhan, draw the curtains. 
That's my whimsy. Did you see that? And I want like a butterfly to like come softly by my head. So, oh, and you know what, Orhan, just like superimpose Johnny Depp right here. I like your hat, Johnny. It's so whimsical. Give him a little kiss. I'm married. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I will be back next week with a brand new cake. So subscribe and tell your mama. Yeah, you still have to tell your mama. You're still trying to get people to tell their mama. People should talk to their mamas. <laughs>